Hey guys, Brad Abel here with Diverse Dimensions. We're here today at Betts Industries in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today will be a perfect display of how to use the talisman when doing large scale measurements with a tracker. You can check out Josh Havman's video he did previously on how to install and link up talisman for your iOS or Android device. But today I'll show you and really highlight the practical uses of it on a large job. So Bats Industries is actually going to be taking delivery of their new toy and it's going to um, pretty much occupy this entire space here. They just had a brand new pour of concrete and they want to know how flat it is. So I'll show you how to do that on Talisman. So I'm set up here and Betts is looking for a point on either side for the both the master and the slave side. Uh, point every meter and it's very helpful to have a DRO so I can say every thousand millimeters where to place my SMR for a point. So let's continue doing this. So on the bottom of your talisman screen you can see three definitive buttons along the bottom. The, towards the center and to the left you'll see a circle button and to the right of that you'll see a square. The circle button allows you to take a point. You can see on the top of the screen what you're probing and how many points you have so far. And of course you can see the DRO along the right of the screen. So I'm just going to move this down the trail another meter. This fly is really liking me. <laughs> okay. So there. Take another point. Move down another meter. There we go. So the talisman makes this really nice, especially doing really technical moves like this. So let's say I take a bad point that's not quite a meter. So now I'd like to undo that point. The further on the bottom of the screen the furthest right button that looks like a left facing arrow, press that and you can, you get two options here. The first one is to undo your last point and the second one is to redo all the points for this feature. Keep in mind it does not delete the feature. So I'm just going to press that top button there. So we're back to five. I'm going to bring this back up to a nice round meter plus minus 100 microns, you know. There we go. And what also is really nice about this is that all the sound effects, including when you lose the beam and when you regain the beam, of course, and also when you take a point, it's really nice to have those sound effects. And if you have a pair of uh, Bluetooth headphones, you can then pair them to your iPad or phone and also get those same sound effects. So you don't have to worry about Bluetooth um, losing it when you're paired to your laptop. All right, well thank you for joining me today here at Betts. It was great having you along. Stay tuned for some more videos. Hope this was helpful. See you guys.